University student severely injured in an alleged hazing incident now taking legal action. The freshman suing his school and the fraternity he was pledging. This morning, 19-year-old Armand Runty is struggling to recover after a near-death trauma at a fraternity party in March left him with multiple skull fractures. Armand suffered a traumatic brain injury. He, to this day, now nine months later, he continues to suffer the consequences of that. According to a lawsuit filed against Rutgers University, at least a dozen students and the fraternity he was pledging, Theta Chi, the freshman was allegedly encouraged and or forced to consume life-threatening amounts of alcohol, which caused him to become intoxicated and fall down this flight of stairs, hitting his head. The lawsuit claiming upon realizing the grave consequences of their conduct, the fraternity defendants unsuccessfully sought to conceal evidence of their hazing and underage alcohol violations. According to the police report included in the lawsuit, the incident was reported nearly three hours later. His lawyer says Runty spent months in the hospital with potentially permanent damage to his nervous system, according to his attorney. He's had major surgery. He hasn't been able to return to school. He, he has not returned to normal function. The incident similar to the 2017 event that cost Penn State student Timothy Piazza his life. The 19 year old consuming large amounts of alcohol and falling down a flight of stairs while pledging a fraternity. A closed circuit camera showing he lay injured for more than 12 hours. His frat brothers serving jail time over the incident. And last fall, 18-year-old Danny Santulli nearly died after authorities say he was pressured to drink an entire bottle of vodka at a pledging event at the University of Missouri. This surveillance video shows him falling backwards. He'll need care for life. He's still not talking or walking. He's in a wheelchair. He lost his vision. Theta Chi has not commented on pending litigation, but told ABC News they have a strict policy against hazing during any part of the fraternal experience. And Rutgers has a policy that says no alcohol shall be present at fraternity events. The lawsuit claims such rules were ignored and this accident was preventable. It's our hopes that this lawsuit affects that change. Until that behavior is changed, we are sadly going to see more tragedies like this. The lawsuit also says another Rutgers student died in that same Theta Chi house more than 20 years ago. He, too, fell down a flight of stairs while intoxicated. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.